Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be doing a little balance jig, uh, balance leech. Um, uh, it's mostly CDC with a little bit of uh, dubbing in it, but this uh, CDC, when especially in this balanced format, oh man, this stuff just moves, and drives fish nuts. So this could just be a really simple black, all black one, um, but uh, this one can uh, can nail them because, and like I said, it's because of the CDC, because of the sheen it gives off and the movement. So. Alrighty, let's uh, go over to the tying cam. So I got a, uh, to start off, I've got a 532 um, hairline uh, head turner instant jig um, bead in a, uh, I think they call it, it's black. Yeah, they call it black, but I to call it more gun metal. Hens BL200 in a size eight. Uh, I'm gonna be using some Hens CDC for the tail and for the collar. And then for the body, I'll be using some of the number nine hens peacock dubbing. The number nine, this one that's sticking out there, right there. Okay, and that's it. It's Like I said, it's very simple. Oh, and uh, Semperfly Nano Silk. So I just start my thread, just as always, just get it started. Find the scissors. <laughs> My tying bench is a bit of a mess because, like I've said before, I always do a, a practice one just to so I can make sure I've got all my materials out. But I was trying to find a couple of big feathers for uh, the CDC, and it's just all over my bench. So, so now what I like doing is I take taking a little bit of wax, waxing my thread, and then making sure I get that uh, that um, head turner in the right um, orientation, which is like forward like that and then I hold it and I just let the, the thread go in between my finger and that uh, that bead and I'm, I'm actually letting it like if you see how far forward I'm going so it's just it's really shut uh, going in there to lock that bead and I'll come back a little bit and I'll go back forward again back a little bit forward again just to get that bead there that's nicely locked in now in that format, right? So when it's sitting like that, it'll uh, balance that out. So now, just going to put a bit of a base layer down. I'm going to go down just a little bit past the the tip of the hook, the point of the hook. Back again. Spin my thread just to flatten it. Like I said just a bit of a base layer, and then because it's CDC, just put a little bit of a a little bit of wax on your thread as well as on that base layer. Now I'll take, a, depending on the uh, depending on the feathers, I'll grab a couple, two to three um, CDC feathers and stack them. In this case, I'll take two. So I found a couple of decent ones. Okay, and I'm just going to stack them like they are, and then I want this about the length of the body, sticking past, so about there. So get that locked down nicely. Make sure you've waxed that thread. And then under and over and under. Do this just like marabou. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut that off. And just make sure I've got that those ends tie down nicely. Okay. Now I'm gonna come forward a bit. I'm going to do a dubbing loop. All the way back. Right up against that CDC. And back. Leaving a, a little bit of a space in the front. You want to make sure you leave a little bit of space because you're going to be putting a, a two feather a, a collar on there. So I'm just waxing my thread really nicely. Get my dubbing spinner, put it in there. Get my dubbing, my number nine peacock here. And put that into the loop. Spread that out. Good spin. Okay. 
Just brush that out just a little bit. One wrap right at the tail and then come forward. That's good. I said you want to make sure you leave a little bit of room at the front there for the collar. So now we'll take my dubbing brush. Now if you want to just have it like this, just put a little bit more dubbing on and just go right up to that head turner and you're done, right? But I really like the effect this CDC collar brings and how much movement and how much how much light it picks up so so go to about there i'm going to take one cdc feather with quite a bit quite long barbules or feathers um, um bars on it i'm just gonna expose the tip and see it's got a natural curve i want to curve down i'm just exposing that tip just like you would with any other hackle Okay, and then I'm going to tie that in with the, by the tip. Fold that back, and I can leave that in. Now I grab that with my hackle plier, and then just make sure you try to keep all those, as many you can at least, out so they don't get trapped. Can brush it out in a bit anyway. So, just let go. And go one more with this feather. Yeah, one more. Uh, maybe I'll get another, and then maybe I won't have to use a second feather. All depends on the feather, right? So, and how how dressed you want this to be. So, I'm just gonna. Hackle pliers slipping off this damn, darn CDC it can be so darn slippery. So once, all the way around. There we go. And then, yeah, it might actually be enough. I might not have to do a second. We'll see in a second here. Just tied that down in front of it, in front of the state stock, behind it, on top of it. Cut that nice and close. Get that out of there because you don't want that stock in there. This is your stem. A bit of a. Uh, where's my brush? There's my brush. Brush that CDC out. There we go. Okay. Good, now a little bit more of that number nine. Not a lot. Wax your thread. Hand up. Hold all your CDC back. Go right up against that head turner. Put a little bit more in there. Because I do, I'm going to pull this out a bit. So I want this to, sh the shiny fibers to kind of blend with that uh, CDC. So you'll see in a second. I'll see what I mean. Oh, hopefully the lighting is okay. It looks like I forgot to turn my tying light on. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> now it might be too bright. Okay, that off, take my dubbing brush and pull some of that out. See how I'm pulling back, not out? Because I want it to train back, right? And that is your finished <clears throat> CDC jig. 
balanced leech, however you want to call it. But that, like I said, all that CDC in there will really, it does a lot, it moves a lot, right? And it picks up so much light as well. And it will slick back nicely when it gets wet. Right, so there. Like I said, fairly simple. Lots of, uh, <clears throat> lots of movement and lots of, uh, lots of little shinies going through it with that peacock dub and with that uh, the all the the light that the cdc picks up so yeah give that one a shot like i said this one's uh really good i've done really well with this especially in the fall so thanks for watching guys um hope you guys enjoyed that one if you did give it a thumbs up if you've subscribed thank you if you have not please consider doing so we'll see you guys on the next time video thailand